uh, right before the end of the year, we had Amanda Narcissi of Bold Pittsburgh on the show, on the awesome cast. And we did the show with her, and we were just kind of chit-chatting with her after the show. And through Bold Pittsburgh, she wanted to do something to help our local restaurants because everybody's trying to keep their local restaurants around because we need them, we love them, and we want to do whatever we can to help them out. And she was working on um, something, and we just kind of – we were – kind of going back and forth and pitching you know ideas and stuff and it came up with a hashtag hashtag my pgh takeout an easy simple hashtag you use uh across social media if you're you know if you're grabbing whatever from annie's eaton park you know get fancier than that uh you could set, send a picture you know you post it on instagram like check out my hashtag my pgh takeout and i was cool the trip covered it uh interviewed amanda and myself to ask us about the whole how the hashtag started and, and inviting people to use it. And uh, our friends over at Yajagoff, uh, John and Rachel invited me on and um, oh, I'm just, I just going to blank out on her name uh, about uh, there was someone else with the me too. <laughs> Amanda couldn't be on the show. So she sent somebody else and uh, they, we talked about the hashtag and I also got to talk about like my whole cancer journey along the way too. But yeah, we, so we've got this whole cool hashtag going now. Um, so if you're looking for something to eat in the Pittsburgh area, check out hashtag my PGH takeout. Um, if you're getting takeout, post a picture so then you can send folks to you, the, your favorite restaurant and, you know, we can all eat good food together. That's good. Together. That's good. I, I've definitely been, I've definitely been like Chipotle or bus lately other than somebody's at Slice. So I haven't been exploring as much as I probably should be. So. Um, no, this is good. There's some good looking stuff on here. Yeah, I'm just looking at the trib article itself. So, mm -hmm. yep. oh, there's some good things. Like, there's a lot of uh, hidden gem restaurants. You know, depending on what part of town you're in, you might post something that no one else knows about, um, and you're like, oh wait, I gotta go check them out. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, our friends over uh, Yin's Love Barbecue BBQ. I know they post stuff all the time that they're eating, and I want to go wherever they're going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever things are up and about. I need to. I need to share some of the tacos from across the street. I, I know uh, John also put on your jag off uh, yesterday. I think like best tacos in town. I'm like, yeah, across the street from the studio all the time. Like I, I <laughs> but uh, over at uh, Las Palmas here. But uh, yeah, no, that's great. That's awesome. That was a nice surprise to hear that you guys were in there, and, and it was just like a, an off conversation you guys had out for this show too. Um, that I, I love that's getting so much, uh, 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 looks. So, oh, and Amanda, sweetheart, uh, is just let me know. It's Elise from Bergnosh. That was who, and she had, Ooh. um, and she was the best, one of the best of Pittsburgh's, uh, I think a food blog winner. Um, and she said, Amanda also said that restaurants are using the hashtag too. So you can, uh, everybody, you know, we'll share it every which way. 